Hey everybody, I uh, just got down to the bike shop and we're heading home. And I happened to spot this coming by. You wonder where the pedicabs come from. I just spotted this and I haven't asked them anything. I'm just going to come in here and ask them if they mind doing, doing a little video. Hello. You build these custom for people? You, you build these for anyone or you build them for yourselves or do you have a pedicab company or do you just build them to sell them to people that have pedicab companies? Yeah, they're laughing at me because they understand everything and I don't. <laughs> you want to your I'm a, I'm a blogger and I just saw your pedicab that you're building and I wondered, uh, do you build them for other people or do you just uh, have a pedicab company and build your own? Yeah, I see your pedicab. You have? You have? No, I have. I have a trike. Oh, yeah. But I just saw the pedicabs, and there's a lot of guys coming from the U.S. and they want to see things that are here, and some of them might want sidecars for their bikes. You know, basically a a, a one seater for a person for a private car. And I wondered, did you build these? Are you building these for someone, or do you build them because you own a pedicab company and you're you're replacing your old pedicab? Yes. You understand? I think you understand. <laughs> what kind your motor? Well, I don't have a motor. I'm just I do blog for guys in the U.S. to see. Ah, yeah, it's the same. And since you were building these, I thought, well, let me stop in. Let me then. see what you have. Can you have stuff? Will you make stuff for someone if they come in and ask for something to be built? No. You don't build for the public. You build it for companies or. If I came in and said I had a bike, not have had, a available welder going. Oh, you don't have a, a welder to work. Yeah. So oh, if, I'm you, a welder. if you want to build a pedicab, <laughs> it's not a company. Oh, it's not a company. Uh, it's you guys uh, run pedicab. Oh, yeah. Ah, okay. I got you. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. If it was if you were building them or whether you were. If you want to, if you have somebody, if you have a friend, wants to have a bicycle, then you can come here to. Make a deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so we can make a deal, but you don't really build them for people. <laughs> okay, can I can I look and see what you have all over? You have brakes here and stuff? I'd actually like to get a metal roof put on top of this. Uh, my canvas is going bad. I was looking for somebody to put metal on the roof. It's not first. Huh? It's not. Oh, no, I just ate. I just ate. And I have a tiny little stomach because I had a... A weight loss surgery. My stomach's about that big. Oh. Tiny, 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 about that big. Oh. Okay. Let's see. We got. Okay. They got brakes here, guys, and I guess they can bend shit. <laughs> they will build something for you if you come by and make a deal, I guess. But it's not for say a company to build shit, <laughs> even though that's exactly what they're doing. And I'm seeing a variety of materials back there, like they do produce pedicabs, they do modify stuff. Oh my! Look at this. This is a. Uh, some of them are making it look, I guess, like an armored car. Or maybe it actually is an armored car, I'm not sure. But there's all kind of goofies, so they got a nice brake here. So I'm not exactly sure what the whole deal on this place is. I was just driving by. But uh, they have the kind of material I wanted to have a roof made for my truck. My canvas is ripped, and they want 6000 for a roof. And they have this, this reasonably thick, I don't know what gauge that is. I never was any good at gauges. But they're showing a variety of different pedicab setups here that they're producing. And I guess for resale. And I'm planning to have this body modified on this, so maybe I'll bring them here. I'll bring it here when I get to seating the way I want and have them build the uh, body around it instead of me doing it. And... They have no name on the place, but it's right next to this this on here. That's uh, pig. They sell cooked pigs or live pigs. Oh, looks like we have live pig here. And dog. They're different pigs for cooking for somebody. Oh, 
maybe somebody come wandering up there. Oh. A lot of wood here, so that shows me they're probably doing the cooking here. Hello. Hi. Do you sell live pig or cook? You cook, cook yeah, pig. Yeah. How much yeah, is yeah. how much is one? Uh, it depends how big it is. Oh, okay. Um, that one. How much for the one of those? Huh? Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Seven thousand. Oh, okay. How much? Is that the smaller pig? Is that the smallest, or do you have bigger? We still have smaller. Smaller than that. What's the smallest pig run? Uh, about five thousand. About five thousand. How many kilos is that? Almost twenty. Twenty. And that is pre-cooked weight, or or is that pre-cooked or after-cooked weight? Uh, after cook, uh, after pre-cooked. Pre pre yeah. Right, right, right. How long? How long before? How long uh, do you have to let somebody know? Two hours before you want it, you cook cook it in two hours. Yeah. Oh, so I only need to basically come here three hours before I want the pig, and I can get the pig no problem. You have to pay first. Oh, you have to pay. Okay, but basically, I have three hours warning, and you can have the pig cooked with no problem at all. An hour to spare. All right. What's your name, man? I mean, like this represents. Oh, which one? With the broom? Ah, oh, you're the owner. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Greg, sir, Greg. Like, what is it? Greg, Greg. Greg, Greg. I'm Morgan. I'm a local blogger, and I was doing, I saw the pedicab next door, and I was doing those, and I figured, well, I didn't have that much to blog, so I figured I'd come over here yeah. and take a look at this. Here, you can choose whatever uh, suits your budget. Ah, okay. So if you want small one, we can have small. How big a pig can you cook? Uh, around 50 kilos are the biggest. 50 kilos. Is I can one show you inside. Come on. Show me, yeah. Oh, we're getting a tour, guys. This is great. Actually, our busiest day is Sunday. Tomorrow. Sunday. Oh, so you're getting ready to cook a lot of pigs, I guess. Come. This one, the one with paints, uh, they're gonna order for tomorrow. Oh, they're already they're already on the table, guys. <laughs> They just don't know it yet. Oh, and here they're cooking them. Oh, this is great. Oh, they can do a lot of things in one day, that's for sure. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at these. How long? And it's, it's uh, two hours to cook one? Two hours, 30 minutes. Oh, and... Are these the bigger pigs? These, yeah, this one big. That's like worth seven thousand. This one's the small one, five thousand. This is five thousand. Those are seven thousand. Yeah, those pigs. are seven thousand. Oh, okay. Uh, I've had I've had the pig here. A couple, I've had pig. I bought one once already. We had a birthday party. and We bought one. So next time, if you want to order, you can just go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, I know where you're at. I've seen the signs for this place for a while. I just never First swung time in you here. Came here. Yeah, and they've got this little nice little rig here. Yeah. All automatic. Last time we used the traditional one, the bamboo stick. Oh yeah. Because of too much orders, to uh, you eat. can't keep up. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat. Mm -hmm. Change to. I'm a metal things. fabricator, I, I, uh, and I've been around sit like I've had to make things like this for people. So I know where you're at. And what is the wood you're using? Uh, Oh, they're coconut yeah. palm. Oh, okay. Yeah. They just strip off the extra. Only here wheat. in the Magete, we use this one. In Cebu, they use like charcoal. Oh. In Manila, okay. so they use charcoal. Which works better, you think? This one. The coconut palms coconut work palm. better. Yeah. There's literally plenty of coconuts yeah, here, that's for sure. And uh, charcoal is very Ex expensive. Yeah, much more expensive. Oh, and if they only knew what was waiting for them. <laughs> if they only knew. Yeah. They're all, they're all lunch. Drinky, dinner. Drinky, <laughs> drinky, Certainly have enough wood to cook plenty. How long will that last you, all this? Maybe a month. Oh, really? Every week they have, we have delivery. Oh, and you see they're set up. Here's a whole bunch of the spits for the pigs. 
How long have you been in business here? Uh, since my grandfather. Ah, oh, your grandfather started More than, this way. Uh, 1980, sir. 80? Oh. Yeah. Very. Is this one yours? My father. Ah. Oh. I've had Toyotas. I almost bought one of these when they first came out, but I bought a pickup instead. Yeah, what pickup? The, uh, the Tacoma, 2005. Uh, Tacoma pickups are big, right? Uh, no, the small one. I had a uh, Tundra. Tundra. Nobody knows where they're going. I don't think we want to go back and watch the butcher, but somebody's heading to the butcher bar, and he knows it. Uh, okay, well, good talking to you, and uh, if I need a pig, I know where to come from. I might have eaten one of your pigs already, I don't know. We, I've eaten a few pigs from families in town here, and I bought one myself that it was bought through somebody else who came over to get it. Here's the one, uh, just finished. Oh, this is a fresh, freshly finished pig. Take a look at the last end of the process. Our juice is just pouring out the bottom here. You can uh, go near. Oh, no, I'm good. They That's okay. Don't want to get in their way. <laughs> I can see fine. Oh, yeah. Looks, yeah, looks delicious. Picking, uh, using their, using their uh, picks. Yeah. Oh, they're picking yeah. their picks out. Yeah. And what is he brushing on there? Uh, oil. Oil. Yeah. Now they just let it rest there a while and then it goes in something. Yeah. Oh, we got a wrap. I've seen the I've seen the yellow wrapper. Here's some oh, you're guys you're there. YouTube. They're, channel, yeah, there? YouTube channel, yeah. And they're picking out their pig for their meal. They haven't decided which one yet. You don't ever make a mistake and get a dog up on the stick. Dogs can jump. Dogs bite better, too. Yeah. It's common. Usually you get the pig, it's wrapped in his paper. Uh, I'll tie it on there. Uh, 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 Oh, restaurant. The restaurant. Just near Hypermart. Oh, okay. Oh, is it across the street from yeah. Hypermart? Yeah, on that back in that back area. That's yeah. that's you guys. Okay, I've seen that place. Yeah, I haven't gone in there yet. How much is your? Uh, how much is the? Uh, the a plate, uh, a kilo of, of uh, meat. Seven hundred, sir. Seven hundred a kilo. Yeah, I was buying some up in uh, Valencia. It was under under seven. It was like six sixty or so, and it was cooked on a small. It was a small. Uh, Valley. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, but very good. Very, very good. Well, that's the process, guys. Uh, waiting for the. The owner to come. Ah, okay. Owner to come to pull it off the pipe. And of course, video in the Philippines without a dog. <laughs> okay, well, that's it, guys. Uh, and this is the same company that has the uh, Listen House across from Hypermart. Which, if you come out to one side of Hypermart and go away from the main road, uh, it goes just back a little ways behind Hypermart and makes a hard turn to the right. And it's a place right there on, on the inside of the bend. I've been seeing it. I just haven't stopped in there. 
but maybe I will now. And here's some cuts eating happily for their food. Hello. Okay. That'll do it, guys. From the Philippines, I'm out.